Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World Videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Verma. Topic for today's session is Applying Animations. Alright, so in the previous session we have already discussed about how to apply the animation to an object and how to add effects to it. This is the animation tab and these are the options available by which we can add the animations and this is the effect option. Now moving further, we'll discuss about working with the animation and how we can add multiple animation to an object. Now let's say first of all I want to insert any text or any picture. Let's say I have inserted a picture here and I want to add multiple animations to it. For adding the animation you need to select the picture and then click on animation. Now you have the options available. Click on the drop down and you will get the multiple type of animations here. For example the entrance that we have discussed how the object enters into the slide. Emphasis that how like the object is already on the slide but we want to add more effects or we want to highlight the object. Then we have the exit, how the object move out of the slide. So these are the kind of animations we can apply. Now suppose we apply an animation here. We have applied an animation fade. Once I play the animation, yeah, this is how the object appears. Now suppose if I want to add another animation, means the object enters as like fade in animation and then I want to give uh, some other animation here grow entering for for example right click on this grow entering now if I play the animation I can only see the uh, the second animation grow and shrink that I have applied it means that the previous animation that we have applied that has gone so now what we have to do if we want to apply the multiple animations to an object you need to click on the add animation command I'll show you how do you do it now let me add the animation first of all I want to apply this animation at the entrance fly in and in the effect from the bottom left ok so this is the first animation that I have applied now I want to add animations to it. Now you can click on add animation and now let's say we apply the other animation grow and shrink. Now you can see that we have got two animations here number one and number two. Let's try to play the animation and see what happens. The laptop comes with the fly in effect and then it grows. Now we want to add one more animation suppose click on the add animation and then for the exit how do you want to fly out ok let's say fly out and in the effect option to the bottom right ok so these are the three animations we have applied to it let's see what happens click on the star here to play the animation this is how it works you can click on preview also if you want to see the animation effects ok so in this way we can add multiple animations to an object now the second option we are going to discuss is to copy animation with the animation painter how do you do it select the object let's place it a bit here ok now I want to add one more object here insert picture ok I have one more object here now I want to apply all the animations which I have applied on the first object to this. So what I'm going to do is you 
me to select this this object that is already having the applied animations now you need to click on the animation painter click on this and now click on the second object now you can see the same set of animation has been applied now how the objects are going to appear the number uh, the three animations with the first object and then four five six animation with the another object let's try to play it and see what happens all right so this is how it works okay next we'll discuss about to reorder the animation how do we do it we have already applied some animations here on the object now we want to reorder these animations you have a command i'll show you select the object first of all this is your first animation when you click on this number 1 then automatically the first the first animation that you have applied that would highlight it now you select the second one and you can see the second animation that is applied on the object and so on this is how you can see all the animations now suppose this animation we want to apply the animation one later on so how do you change the order select the animation and then on the animations ribbon here you will get a option move later you can click on this so now both the animation these are swapped let me show you if we play this it's growing first of all and after that is going to come coming and going yeah you have seen that let me show you once again just notice the moment it is growing first of all that was the second animation and the coming the coming uh, how it, the object is entering into the slide that was the first animation so both of them are swapped now now this is the entry animation that how the object is going to enter again we want to reorder this we want to move that on number 1 select this and click on move earlier again it has swapped and it has come in the same order play that once again it's entering then growing and then exit from the slide yeah so this is how we can reorder the animation if you have applied seven six animations or more than that and you want to reorder it so there is no need that you need to remove it just try to reorder them now next we'll discuss about to preview the animation how to preview it i have already told you that you can select the object and then you can click on this preview option on the left hand side preview animation click on this and you can see all the animations that has been applied to the slide or the other option is that you can click on the star here play animation and you can see the animations applied on the slide all right so that was it for uh, this session we have learned about how to apply multiple animations how to reorder them and how to copy the animation with the animation painter in the next session we'll discuss about the animation pane how to open it how to reorder the effects from the animation pane and so on Thanks everyone thank you for watching Edupedia World videos